Times have been increasingly tough. Inflating costs from gas to groceries has families scrambling for ways to cut costs without cutting corners. CBS 4's Justin Kolar is working to save you money with a potential pallet payday. The checkout can be a scary place, especially when you're trying to save a buck. It's clear the need is there and people are struggling. When your dollar doesn't stretch quite as far as it used to, Kroger's Eric Halverson recommends giving some of his store brand products a try. When people are looking at the price, I think, especially these days, that becomes a deciding factor. More often than not, Kroger and other large grocery store chains like it will place their store product right next to the larger, more recognizable competition product. Take, for example, the Kroger Raisin brand. It's literally situated right next to the Kellogg's Raisin brand, except this one is a fraction of the price. It's called reference pricing is the term that we use in marketing. And so this is your reference that tells you that's a good deal. And the only way you know it is because that's sitting there. John Talbot, director of the Center for Education and Research and Retail at the Kelly School of Business, says stores like Kroger can ride the coattails of their competition, cutting costs by sidestepping advertising without cutting taste. They spend a lot of time and effort carefully comparing the taste of their products to those that they're trying to sell against. And they work hard to make them have really the same flavor. They may look the same, but how do they? I want to taste. We tested three groups of FFA students and their parents from across the country to see. I think the jelly on this one tastes better. I like my peanut butter thick. Yeah. Oh, this is definitely the uh, store brand. How do you know that? Well, the bread's like, it's like, like it dents more. You didn't even try that one yet. I know, but I just, I feel like I know. What do you think? Pretty good. Pretty, it's a normal peanut butter and jelly sandwich, I think. But no matter how many PBJs they ate. This is just, I gotta tell you, I'm having a hard time really telling the difference. No one could tell for sure. It would be just a guess. Okay. I don't really know. And as for the chips. They're looking a lot more cheddar-y, like they got a lot more goods on them. Too much flavoring. How's that chip? Salty. Salty. This one on this side is more crunchier. Crunchy or salty? How certain are you? I'm not. No one could tell. I'm going to switch my vote and say this one's name brand. You think brand. that one's the name brand? That one's from the store? Yeah. OK. How certain are you of that? Like 10%. And after testing 17 people. I would guess in most cases, people really probably can't really tell the difference. The reveal is no one was right, which Talbot says isn't surprising. Yeah, it just goes to show you that, uh, you know, we may perceive that we have that expertise around palate, but context matters, packaging matters, and all of that could change how you perceive the taste of something. Yeah. So the next time you go shopping, remember. Quality is the same, the flavor is the same, or we would say even better than some of the national competitors. So, Justin, none of them got it right. No, it's hard to believe, but not a single person. A lot of the folks that we taste tested thought that the Kroger brand chips or the Ripples yeah. were the name brand Ruffles, but that was certainly not the case. Okay, so this is all about saving money. You did a shopping trip, mm -hmm. buying some Thanksgiving essentials. You saved a lot buying the uh, the store brands? Yeah, we did. We've got all those receipts online. We saved $24.70. Wow. So yeah, you can look online. We've got the receipts, the price differences, the breakdown of everything that we bought. You can see for yourself on CBS4Indy.com right now. And of course, we're hoping that this can save you some money the next time you're at the grocery store.